Marcel, sitting here in your spring bucket, did you were you starting to think it might not happen again? How, how does it feel to be back? Yeah, I think first of all, great opportunity to be, to be back. Uh, I mean, uh, catching up with old friends like Yevon and Peter Steff and new faces as well. Man right next to me, you know, and that's what it's all about, you know, coming together as a squad and just learning a bit the new personalities, new players and yeah, look, it's it's always phenomenal when you see your name being read out and to be on the team sheet. And for me and my family, and it was a proud moment, you know, so you'll never take that for granted. Does it feel almost like the first time you were called up? Yeah, more or less, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, it's been a while, you know. I think I played my last test in 2019, you know, and, uh, you know, in that period, you, you just realise what you have when you come back to the system, you know. It's, it's a great honour to represent your country in all fronts, you know. So, no, just being back in the system is phenomenal. Can you still give me an idea of your emotions this past couple of days now, and then knowing now, Finally, you're going to make that, or hopefully make that appearance from the bench stuff and working with some of these experienced players. Um, I think emotionally, um, it's been it's been good. I think big thing for my family as well. But I've just taken it one day at a time, um, focusing on each day, trying to get the proof and the detail. And I think the emotion um, will really let out on Saturday. But for now, it's just focusing on every single thing at training and making sure we sharpen up and ready for ready to go on Saturday. Did you think that you would make that debut this coming Saturday? Uh, to be honest, no, but it's something that I did have in my goals. I think everyone who plays rugby in South Africa, especially schoolboys, um, you look forward to making that day. We just didn't really think with the switch from loose forward, um, loose forward to prop happened this soon. But extremely grateful, and uh, yeah. Um, your school, Marysburg College, I think your last three Springboks were all fly halves, uh, Joel and Peter Grant and, yeah. and Butch. It's about time they had a prop. How do you <laughs> <laughs> um, we're actually chatting about that, uh, Jesse and I. Um, we, we can't recall, I think. Maybe back in the day, efforts made it. So, yeah, it's great for the school, um, for myself as well, come being from there to, to be a forward who makes it in. Yeah. Marcel, the uh, loose trio that you run, um, uh, Peter Steff and Lisa, just the combination that you've got there, how, how excited are you to, to play in, in, in a blend like that of use and experience? No, well, to take Peter Steff, you know, he's, he was World Player of the Year, you know, so he brings a massive form of experience to the yeah. to the loose trio, you know, Yevon had an exceptional season this season for the DHL Stormers, you know, so it's good for him to be rewarded um, with the foreman as well. And yeah, I think uh, the biggest challenge now for us as a loose is just building that synergy and cohesion, you know. Um, you know, it's men that you want next to you, and uh, yeah, you'll be looking forward to that opportunity you know, from this weekend. Can I just ask you, uh, usually when, 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 when there are test matches against Wales, there's always this talk about what the pack can do, especially the front row. Have you had any conversations with the more experienced guys, what these visitors are going to bring for you guys? We also know what happened this past weekend in Loftus, obviously. Yeah, um, it's a test match. I think even not besides Wales, I think everyone who plays against the Springboks fronts up um, and they take their game up and they prepare for it. So on our side as well, um, personally for me, I've had a sit down with, with the coaches. They've played a huge part and this hasn't just been going on for just this week. It's been, it's been happening ever since we went to Toya while well, the other guys were playing. So it's something that we've been preparing for for the past couple, four weeks or so. Um, they they definitely going to front up, and um, I can definitely say we're ready for it as well. Yeah, yeah. There's actually or they there is actually a lot of um, new guys in the team. I mean, you are not used to in in a match um, situation. Is that maybe something on Saturday that will be hard? I, I, I'm also asking that for you. I mean, you are not actually used to him and and um, Kirti Orange maybe and do ever. Actually, will that have um, an effect and how do you, I don't know, work around that yeah. in the week? On from the, on the from our side, I don't think so. Been together for a good couple of weeks. Um, we spend a lot of time uh, on and off the field. Um, like like you guys are mentioning, the Lustre are great, great players um, all around. And we might not, not have played together, but I think throughout playing URC, we've played against each other. So more or less know each other. And I think these guys, particularly in Lustre, complement each other. So, yeah. You've got a bit of a legacy to, to, to live up to. I mean, the two front rows that normally play, um, and, you know, quite a reputation in world rugby, and and the bomb squad added to that as well. Mm. Just your thoughts on that? I mean, uh, yeah, I think legacy was myself. I'm just gonna do what I'm picked for and, and do my best on my side. Um, obviously, it's a massive privilege, and they've 
they've created that name for themselves. Obviously, particularly the bomb squad coming on and making sure that they they inflict that so called um, slow poison that is renowned for the Springboks. So on my side, uh, going back to to how I felt. I, I've got no worry running on with the men that I'm running on with. The guys have won massive championships, so those guys have really been a good um, guides and um, you know mentors for me throughout this week in the past couple of weeks. So yeah. Uh, and to direct my question to both of you, do you guys have any like habits or rituals or something weird that you have to do before a rugby vet struck a rugby game? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> rugby a rugby match, and or something that brings you luck. Um, I know this is going to be your debut, hopefully. Is there something you're going to change? Um, say, oh. uh, to, be honest, to be honest, not really. Um, I think, uh, you know, in the past, um, if I had a routine of stuff, I'd probably get injured in the game. So I've changed all that <laughs> stuff now. So, no, look, it's about seizing the moment and creating the opportunity and just take it. You know, I look, uh, you play from moment, moment for moment, play for play. And that's what the game's going to present itself. You know, there's going to be tough times. There's going to be times where you have to grind in deep. But, um, yeah, no, you take it as it can comes. You, can you maybe elaborate on that um, stuff that you did that can injure you? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm throwing all bad omens away. Please. Uh, so. And you? Uh, so, Coach Scott using you as a knowledge. You, you probably got the most knowledge of the Wales team playing in um, uh, Pro 14 way back. You got prop as I said, you know all of them from, from the years you played there. Is that using you for, for the inside knowledge? Um, I think it's um, very ownership driven you know if you feel like you want to add something to the mix the, the environment is open for that you know so um, a lot of the player and teams this season had a taste of the URC how the Welsh side more or less played but take the international side it's completely different you know we see how competitive they were last weekend you know and they played with desperation you know and I think look it's open for everyone you know even the youngest guy to the most senior you know if you feel something you can contribute okay. that's the environment that was created you know so you know you just open to that so um, you come with your own experience, leadership, create you still have to go to your country to be able to do it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, that is a uh, so as I said, it was a great advantage to be in the mix to be here in the And you can feel as if you have the old man said, you can't do it now. You know, that is, every toets is unique and special. You know, it can't be a way to play. You know, the Oblaks is or Wallace in the mix. Every toets brings its own uniqueness. You know, and that is for you as a player himself, um, a player to be able to be good for you to be here. And your emotions to drive that not overwhelming or not, that you have a positive influence on your team. You know, when you were 19 last year, uh, op een stadium in India wees ek weg van die nationale span, raak hem eens mismoedig of hou, bly jy net positief om, om weer in dat vierende groene groot te skoon? Ja, ek dink as jy rugby speel in Zuid-Afrika, sal dit altyd jou droom wees, jy weet, om deel van die set-up te wees, jy weet, dit is, uh, ek wat bevoorrecht is geseend was, wat al daar achter die tsaal gehad het, weet waar het gaan en wat sy adrenaline speler kry op die veld, jy weet, as jy vat verleer in die wekse gepleid strijd, hoe die, hoe die skare, jy weet, eerstens om hulle terug toe ook te kon het, jy weet, hoe dit die beste uit die spelers gebring, wat tweede halfte, die passie, die emotie wat die bring, jy weet, so ja, nee, net om jy vraag te antwoord, dan, dit is vir hom nou om terug te wees, en jy wil net positief en vloed weggeen. Marcel, um, what would your advice be to Evan and the guys who are running on making their debuts, I mean, if you cast your mind back to when you made your debut quite some time ago, what would you, you tell them? Oh, just to enjoy every moment, to be honest, you know, look at, uh, I remember my first test, it flies like this, you know. So, um, no, just take that moment in, you know, don't make it too big in your head, you know. Like I said earlier, play for play, uh, face for face, and just enjoy the moment, you know. And know what you did to bring you here, you know. Every player's got that something special that made them get picked for this team, you know. Never let that down, you know. Concentrate on your strengths and just enjoy the moment. Well, Marcel, I mean, you, since you've been back here, you've... Um you, you fulfilled a bit of a mentorship role already at the Bulls there, helping a lot of younger players come through, etc. Um, Wales are obviously going to try and get under your skins like they did last week with the other team. Uh, and just, you know, they quite easily could, like last week, a bounce of a ball. Something might go wrong in those first couple of minutes. Your role is, and, and the other senior players' role in, in just keeping the guys calm and that. And let's maybe talk a bit about that. Yeah, I, th I think um, one thing we're fortunate is like um, we've got World Cup, uh, World Cup um, winning players in the team. You know, we've got Evan Etzel with Hunter Paul that brings heaps of experience. Peter stepped a toy alongside you in the flank. So no, they'll bring that composure and where you can as well. You know, you'll, we'll see the game as it is and we'll control 
the, what we can control at the end of the day. But I think the biggest thing is just for collectively as a team, you know, not to go too much individually now. And now's the time to come together, you know, drive all that positive energy and what we want to achieve on the day in the same direction, you know. Yeah. I think the uh, last thing you want to do is, uh, you know, you want to do maybe over the top or something, you know. It's about what the team wants to object and what it wants to accomplish on the day, you know. And the leaders in the team, they know their roles and they'll steer that in the right direction. And just, and just after, on that as well, just knowing that, yeah, that, that there has been a plan for the last two weeks, preparing for these last couple of weeks, knowing that you guys are going to play, how much has that helped in terms of the, the self-belief for this group of players that obviously are going up on Saturday? Yeah, I think, uh, first of all, to get the opportunity from the coaches and the backing, you know, it's a, it's a great honour, you know. Um, we sort of knew what the plan was, you know, but we wanted to see how it went over the weekend, you know, and the coaches still back the plan, you know, and that gives us as players confidence, you know, knowing we have their backing going to this game, you know. And, uh, yeah, we had a week last week, you know, where we could have prepped, you know, and built a bit of synergy, like he said, off the field, went out, you know, just learning each other, you know, what his trades is, you know, and it's a very important task going into this test this weekend, you know. It's about, like I just mentioned, driving all that positive and collective synergy into the right direction. Uh. Guys, two questions. Um, we've got two minutes left. Can I just for broadcasting purposes? Sorry, I need to ask you this. Do you mind pronouncing your name Martin and your surname for me, please? As clearly as possible so you understand. Uh, and I have you ask you another yeah. question before you answer that. Do that. Do you have a nickname? What are you known in, 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 in the Sharks camp and here in, in, in this camp? Uh, my, my, my name, my name, Ndutugo. Ndutugo Mkuno. Yeah. Um, the guys call me Tooks. It might be very premature, but people are calling you the new beast. Um, obviously, you've moved from number eight to blue set, same mm -hmm. as he did. Has he um, spoken to you at all, or helped you down in, in Durban, and how do you feel about living up to that reputation? Uh, first of all, I just... Obviously, it's, it's, uh, it's a massive thing being kind of called Beast 2.0, as people have been saying. But I just want to create my own legacy. Yeah. Um, he's someone who set the bar high for us to, to reach, and I've kind of got my own. I want to do it my way. Um, but I'm very grateful for, for what people are calling me. Yeah. Secondly, um, yeah, he's been a great mentor, if I could say. Um, more off the, off the field stuff and yeah. kind of like coming into the system similarly to how he's coming so he's been great from a mental point of view and just understanding that there's someone out there who's done it before just to come to know if there's anything that I, I need just the last question just on what would people be surprised if they learned away from the field they obviously know you're a rugby player mm. but what would you surprise them if you would you spend your time what you do away from the field <laughs> uh I enjoy I enjoy walking on the promenade. Um, obviously, being from Durban, living in oh, Durban, no and I, I definitely enjoy being on the farm. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah.